Hi there, Leon. Researchers at Florida Atlantic University tested different non-medical, do-it-yourself face masks to see which material and which fit performed the best. They focused on the homemade cloth coverings because they're readily available, and those are the ones that most people are using right now. In the experiment, scientists simulated a cough and a sneeze with a mannequin and used a laser, a laser to measure how far the droplets had traveled. The bandana had the highest thread count of all the materials tested, but it was the least effective. Droplets traveled more than a foot when the mannequin was wearing a folded cotton handkerchief. With the cone-style mask, the droplets traveled about eight inches. The stitched double-quilted cotton mask was the one that performed the best, with droplets only traveling about two and a half inches. In terms of fit, masks should fit snugly, covering your mouth and your nose. Researchers found that droplets traveled more than eight feet when the mannequin was wearing uh, no mask. So wearing a mask is a lot better than wearing nothing at all. By one estimate, face masks have prevented as many as 450,000 additional coronavirus cases so far in the U.S. And many of the states that have required mask wearing have seen COVID cases drop. So uh, if you're wearing a bandana, time to uh, time to upgrade your uh, your mask, Leon. S stitched double quilted. That sounds like a, like a toilet paper commercial. <laughs> <laughs> That's the cotton L, isn't it, with the bear? Well, you could try that, too. <laughs> to toilet paper over your face, though, is, does not look quite as not attractive. Not attractive. No, not a good something look. Something stitched together. No, no, not a good mm -hmm. look. <laughs> All right, thanks, Doreen.